Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you around Max's bedroom because we have finally finished it and I am so so pleased with how it looks. Apologies for the poor lighting in here, it's January, the lighting is rubbish, there's not much I can do about it. Um, and also it doesn't get a lot of light in this room anyway, which is a bit rubbish, but we've tried to keep it as bright as we can with the white walls and things. And yeah, I'm really pleased with how it's looking. If you want links to anything that is mentioned in this video, then I'm going to do a blog post that is going to go live at the same time as this video. So just go to the description box below and click the blog link and it will take you to the blog post and I will have linked everything that I can in that post. So yeah, let me show you around. So I'm just stood in the door now. So this is what you see as you come in. This bed over there. I'm just gonna start over here. So the first thing that we've got is his desk. And the desk was from Argos and it was about 50 pounds, I think. The chair is actually a rocking chair, which I had when Evie was a baby in her nursery and I love it so much that I just didn't want to get rid of it. I really like how it looks and it actually fits perfectly underneath the desk so I've put that there. And then above his desk we have got this banner which is from This Modern Life and you can actually, you get lots of letters and you can actually change it to say whatever you want. So I saw this on Pinterest and I just fell in love with it and I just love it. And then the desk is really cool because it lifts up, so he's got lots of stuff stored in there, which is really handy. And then on here we've got one of these little pegboards, and you can change the letters to say whatever you want. I thought it was really cool just to pop the date on there. And then he's got a little pen pot here, which I think is from B&M. And then I've used a golden syrup tin for pencils as well, and I just really like how that looks. I think I got the idea for that off Pinterest as well. And then I've got a little desk lamp which is from Habitat and I think that was about £18. It's got a little fake uh, succulent here which is from B&Q and then just a little cactus. I don't know whether that will stay in here, it depends whether he keeps touching it and pricking his finger on it. Um, but this was a pack of three so the other two are dotted around his bedroom as well. So I just stand back and show you that's what that area looks like. And that's the door over there where you come in. And then to the side of that, in the corner, we have got his teepee, which was gifted to us by, I never know how to say this, everyone seems to say it differently, but I'm going to go with Verba Day. So yeah, they gifted us this and a couple of other things in the room. So I'm, I'm going to get to those in a minute, but I absolutely love it. And inside we've just put this little rug down because I just think it makes it a bit cosier for him. And then he's got a few cushions in there. All of those are from Ikea. And then next to it we've got like some books because he likes to sit in there and read some books. And these kind of book racks are actually from Ikea and I think they're like in the kitchen department. I think they're supposed to be like spice racks or something, but they work really well for books on there. So that's what that looks like. And just excuse the wire. <laughs> We've got um, an extension lead for his lamp and it needs kind of tucking in a little bit better. Then there's a window over there and he's got a little rag doll that my sister made for him. She makes all sorts of dolls and she can make them to look like your child as well. So I will link in my blog post to her Instagram page and Facebook page. Then we've got these little whales which I mentioned in my last haul video and they are from Sainsbury's. I just think they look really cute on the window ledge there. And then moving around to his bed bedside table again this is from Verba Day and was very kindly gifted to us and I just absolutely love that. I love the different colours and the geometric pattern. On his table he has got this lamp which is like a navy blue shade and then it's got grey here and a yellow wire and that was from Sainsbury's. He's also got his Amazon Echo Dot on there which he uses all the time, he absolutely loves it. And then the bed is um, 
It's just like a metal one, a white metal one. I think that we got that from Little Woods. Um, although I'm not 100% sure, but I'll find out and I'll link it in my blog post. The bedding, again, is from Verbe Day and it's um, this pattern on the other side. Which is also really nice. So that's the pillowcase. I've got it on the other pattern. I just think it looks really cool with all the different contrasting patterns and colours. This cushion is from Sainsbury's. This one is from Ikea. This was an eBay bargain. I think that was about £3 from eBay. But I think it did come from China so it did take a while to arrive. This one again is from eBay and so is the whale. And I just think they all look really cute together. Then the throw at the end of his bed, this green one is from Ikea. And I didn't mention his rug. His rug we've had for quite a while. Um, I want to say it's from Argos, I can't remember, but there's lots of these kind of ones about, so I'll link a similar one if I can. And it's just really huge, fills most of the room. Which is good because the carpet in here is, to be honest, pretty minging. And this hides any stains, which is <laughs> ideal. And then on the wall above his bed, we have this shark, which is like a squishy kind of plush shark. And it just hangs on the wall here with this little hook. And I just absolutely love that. That is from H&M and that was £12.99, I think. Then he has got this Corby Tinder Sticks banner, which says Peace Love Chips. And it's got bright orange fringe in there, which I just love. I love like all the mixtures of colours that we've got going on. And then on this wall, the frames are from Ikea. I really like the hangy twine bit on there, it just makes them a little bit different. The prints themselves are from, I don't really know how to say this, but is it Fi or Fy? I think the website is iamfy.com or something, but again I'll link it. And then the garland is from eBay, and I just really like how that looks, just kind of draped over the frames there. So then round here, on the wall, he has this, like, big world map, and that is from This Modern Life. And then we've just got some washi tape that we got from eBay, just to stick it up, and I think that looks really cool. Then down here at the end of his bed, he has got this really cool tiger rug, which again is from Verba Day, and I just absolutely love how that looks. He's got a couple of like toy storage bags here. This one is like one of these paper ones. So it's just like paper, but I just really like how that looks. And that one was from eBay and it was only a few quid but you can get them from loads of places. They had all different designs as well. And then this one is one of these like wicker belly baskets and that is from Ikea. So that's that, let me just stand back. So that's his bed and you've got this here. That's the door over there where you come in. And then he's got his wardrobe and his chest of drawers. He's got this little um, storage crate up there, which is from Ikea. This lightning bolt light, which is battery operated, was from eBay, and I think it was about £9. And again, they did all different shapes and designs. The wardrobe and chest of drawers themselves, I think, were Argos, but again, it was quite a while ago, so I'm not sure whether they'll still be available. And then he's got this globe, which is one of those kind of interactive ones but they've broken it it doesn't work anymore <laughs> but I just really like how it looks sat there this print again is from the same place that the other ones are from and the frame is from Ikea and sorry the lighting's really bad and then he's got a couple of plants on here I've used another one of the um, little tins as a plant pot and I just think that looks really nice And then on the back of his door, he's just got this coat hook, um, which was from Sainsbury's. And let me just stand in the middle of the room and I'll pan round. So it's this area. And you've got his desk over here. 
and then teepee, window, this bed over there. And that's it. And then if you're wondering what this cupboard is in the corner, this, I think, is every parent's dream for toy storage. <laughs> so let me show you inside. So this was full of stuff before. It was full of Christmas decorations, wedding dresses, old clothes, baby bouncers, baby seats and whatnot that we don't need anymore. So we had a massive clear out and it's now a toy storage. So on the back of the door he's got one of these, I think this is like meant for shoes but actually works really well for toys because he likes to keep all these like dolls and things organised. And just to make it a bit cosier and nice we put some fairy lights in there which looks really nice. And then he's got like all his Shopkins sets all set up down here and there's actually enough space on the floor for him to sit and play with those. Uh, this is actually going I think because they don't use it anymore. But yeah they've got like teddies and all sorts on there. And these units were, they're similar to the Ikea Expedit or Calax units but they're actually from Argos. And they were really cheap and I think they're really good for toy storage. So yeah, that's that space in there. So yeah, in terms of other toy storage, obviously most of it is in there. Um, he's got some bits in there. He has got some bits in the bottom of his wardrobe. I think I might get another box to put up there if we need more space for toys. It's both kids' birthdays in March, so obviously they'll get more toys and we'll need more space most likely and then the good thing about this bed is that there is a lot of space under there it's quite high as well so we can get some storage boxes to put under there as well so yeah that's it i hope you've enjoyed looking around max's new bedroom like i said i am so so pleased with it it's turned out better than i thought it would and yeah he loves it so we're all really pleased Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!